okay so now let's discuss the next question the next question was count of substrings count of substrings let me quickly explain you the question so let's suppose the test case given to us is 2 3 5 3 5 4 6 and 5 this is a string which is given to me and this string contains uh, numerical characters or you can say digits right now they are given two values one is p and other is c c's value is 5 in this case and p's value is 2 in this case so what they want me uh, to explain or what we want me to answer is they want the count of all the substrings where the count of occurrences of digit 5 is exactly 2 so let me take an example of such substring this is a substring where count of 5 is exactly 2 or you can say this is a substring where count of uh, 5 is exactly 2. So 5, 3, 5 is a substring. Substring has to be uh, together. And 3, 5, 4, 6, 5 is also a substring where count of occurrences of 5 is exactly 2. Right? Now let's talk about this. Uh, how we'll try to solve this question. Now let's talk about that. So what i'll do is for this first i'll traverse the given string first i'll traverse the given string and i'll make the insights the, the all the markings that i get from its reversal i'll put uh, the results into this uh, array let me define what this array means to me and what this array is this array is array of lists this array is an array of list the index the indices are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so there are these 10 indices i've taken this in 10 indices because the digits or the numerical characters can start from 0 and they can end, end at 9 i have only these 10 choices now corresponding to each uh, digit or corresponding to each index there would be a list i'll use dynamic array dynamic array is a gender term if i talk about c++ uh, the word used for dynamic array is vector and if i talk about java the word used for dynamic array is array list so we have to key, uh, create an array of lists create an array of dynamic list or dynamic arrays and in the starting what I'll do is I'll add zero to all the lists. You will get to know what I'm trying to do. Just try to go further with this approach. Just try to listen and you will understand what I'm doing. First to mark the initiation of the list, I'll add zero uh, in all the lists. Then I'll traverse the string. I'm traversing this string. So let's take another color of pen and let's change it and let's traverse the string. So I'll start with the first index. The first index is two. Uh, so the first digit is two. So the index corresponding to it is zero. I'll convert it into its equivalent position and I'll a add this one in this list. Then five will come at next index. The position corresponding to it is two. I'll add this position to its to its list now let's move ahead so this is the next index 2 and the position corresponding to it is 3 so I'll add 3 to it now the next uh, index is 3 the position corresponding to it is 4 so I'll add 4 to the list of 3 the next is 5 it's at index 4 the position corresponding to it is 5 so I'll add 5 to the list of 5 this is index 5, position 6, list of 3. I'll add 6 over here. This is 5, position is, first the index is 6, the position is 7. I'll add 7 over here. Similarly, this is 4 and the index corresponding to it is 7 and the position corresponding to it is 8. I'll add 8 to the list of 4. Similarly, for the 6, what I'll do is, I'll add 8 and the position corresponding to it is 9. So I'll add 9 to the list of 6. Similarly for 5, uh, the index corresponding to it is 9 and the position corresponding to it is 10. So I'll add 10 to it. 
Now, when I have traversed the whole list, now I'll add uh, length of the string plus one to all the list. So the length of the string is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the length of the string is ten. So what I'll do is I'll add ten plus one. I'll add ten to every list. I'll add eleven to each list. So this is how I'll add eleven to each list. This is just to mark the end of the list. To mark the beginning of each list, I use zeroth index, and to mark the end of each list, I have used eleven. Now let's talk about uh, after we have created this array. Now let's talk about how we'll try to solve. Uh, how we'll try to count all the substrings where the count of occurrence of digit five is exactly two. To count the digits, to count the occurrences of substring where the count of occurrences of digit five is exactly two. I have to just focus on this sub uh, this list. So let us take this list. Uh, let us take this list into isolation. So the list that we have is at fifth index is zero, two, five, seven, ten, and eleven. Now I want to have two occurrences of. Digit five. So what I'll do, I'll take pair of twos. So one, I'll take two and five. I'll take this pair, right? So what I'm doing is I'm taking these two occurrences. So five written at position two is this five, and five written at position five is this five. Between them is written two three. So I am taking this uh, pair, right? I'm taking this substring. And try to make as many substrings as possible by taking the five at position two and by taking the five at position five. How many such substrings can be formed? Let me explain you how many such substrings can be formed by taking this pair. The count of substrings would be equal to difference of these two. This is equal to two, and the difference between these two, which is equal to two. So count of all the substrings by taking two and five would be equal to four. Let me explain and let me show which are those two substrings are. The first substring is it starts at one and it ends at five. It starts at one and it ends at five. The second substring is it starts at two and it ends at five. Right. And now the third substring would be it starts at one and it ends at six. And it starts at two and it ends at six. This is the substring. This substring is uh, just look at this part. Just look at this part. So the substring corresponding to position one to five is two, five, two, three, five. The corresponding to two five is five, two, three, and five. Corresponding to one to six is two, five, two, three. Five, and there would be three at the end. Corresponding to two to six would be five two three five three. So that's how I have taken these things. What I have done is I have excluded this zero and I have excluded this seven, and I have taken all the other values. I have taken one and two from here, and I have taken five and six from here, and I have created these four. Substrings. Now let's take the next pair. The next pair is five and seven. Let's change the color of the pen. The next pair is five and seven. So by taking five and seven, how many substrings can be formed where the count of occurrences of digit five is exactly two? It would be equal to difference of these two, which is three, and it would be equal to differences of these two, which is equal to three. So in total, there would be nine sub substrings if take if I take the position five and seven, which would be those nine substrings. Those would be equal to it starts from three, four, and five as its starting index, as its starting position, and it would end at six. Sorry, seven. It would end at seven, eight, and nine as its ending position. So the first substring would be would start from three to seven. Second would start from four and at end at seven. The third would start from five and end at seven. Similarly, the next substring would start from three and end at eight. Start from four and end at eight. 
starts from five and end at eight. Similarly, last set of three substring would start from three and end at nine, would start from four and end at nine, and would start from five and end at nine. That's how uh, this would be done. So there are nine substrings corresponding to this pair. And the last pair is uh, five and seven was one pair, two comma five was one pair. The next pair would be seven and 10. Number of substrings corresponding to seven and 10 would be difference of these two. Seven minus five is equivalent to two. And the difference of 10 and 11 would be equal to one. So number of substrings corresponding to this would be equal to two. So let me quickly write those two substrings. It would start from six and end at 10. And the other substring would start from seven and end at 10. There are no options available over here. So there is only 10 available. So I'll make use of uh, 10 and I'll make these two substrings. So the answer to this would be nine. Uh, the answer to this would be number of substrings would be four between two and five, nine between five and seven, and two between seven and 10. So the answer to this would be 15. That's how this question was to be solved. I hope now you would be able to implement this question into code. I hope you would able to uh, implement this logic into code and I hope this whole part has helped you understanding or comprehending this concept. Thank you.